Hey, there's Colton. And Courtney. And Steve from Sirius. Oh, did I step on your line there? Uh, from Sirius Keto. And what are we going to review today as part of our clearance keto series? Lift it up and show everybody. What is it? Chocolate frosting. That is right. So I picked up this Duncan Hines keto friendly. It says frosting. Two dollars and ten cents on clearance. All right, what are we looking at for macronutrients? Serving size is? Serving size is two tablespoons, calories 140, total fat 10 grams, saturated fat 5 grams, carbohydrates 13 grams, dietary fiber 5 grams, sugar alcohol 6 grams. So I think it works out to one net gram if you're doing net grams? Yes, it says one net gram, but... Well, I think also one of the sweeteners they use is allulose, okay. which doesn't count. Okay. And zero grams of protein. Let's take a look at the ingredients. I've got my glasses. We have palm oil. Now, I've been told, or I've read, that if it is palm fruit oil, it can be labeled palm oil. If it is palm kernel oil, it does need to be labeled palm kernel oil. So this is the better of the two, palm oil. Inulin, erythritol, cocoa, a lot of stuff in parentheses here, allulose, water, mono and diglycerides, and less than 2% of the following, salt, natural and artificial flavors, so two for the price of one there, lactic acid, potassium sorbate as a preservative, polysorbate 60, antioxidants, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, caramel color. So... I think if, if you're one of those people that gets really critical about ingredients, you're going to find some stuff in here you didn't like hearing about. All right. Do you like frosting, Colton? We're, we're up to you now. So now, now it can be the Colton show. We got the boring grown-up stuff out of the way. What are, you, what are your thoughts on frosting? Do you like them or not? I haven't tried it. You haven't tried frosting? Mm hmm Oh. Seriously? You've never had frosting, like on a cake or something? Well, on a cupcake? There's been, didn't you just have some carrot cake the other day? There was some frosting on it, or was it just yeah, dry? I think so. Some vanilla frosting? Like vanilla frosting. So I've never been a big frosting fan. Uh, I've also never been a real big fan of cake. But the one place I do like frosting, or did pre-keto, was I'd make a graham cracker sandwich. And I'd put chocolate frosting in between. In fact, I've got a graham cracker over here for you guys so you can try it oh, out. Okay. But first, let's just see how this stuff tastes plain. We'll each get our own spoon here. A little baby you spoon. Hold, grabbing it like I did. Like a pencil or a pen. All right, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Ding, ding. Who wants to start? You want to start? Okay, what did you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate flavor was like better than I thought it would. Okay. So how did it feel in your mouth as, as it was dissolving? Uh, it's kind of like, kind of, kind of like fluffy. Fluffy? Okay. All right. Let's see what Courtney thought of it. Yeah, it was very whipped and buttery. Yeah, it was almost like, like I, I felt like it was slippery. Yeah. In my mouth, you know, probably from that palm oil, you know, so yeah. it's, it, it's definitely got a whipped, fatty, in a good way, sort of taste. No double dipping, dude. Well, we've got a special, we got a special treat to do next. Don't, don't frown. I just, we're going to, if you want to eat with the spoon later, you can. Okay. But first, what we're going to do, you recognize this? Yes. What is this? Double, two double chocolate brownie. From who made these? Uh, Chick Mug. That's right, we did a review of them. So I'm gonna frost this and then I'm gonna cut it into four pieces, and whoever likes it most gets two pieces. Whoa. Who do you think's gonna like it the most? Well, I'm not a fan of brownies. Oh, really? Yeah, he let everybody know that uh, in the video. <laughs> he also uh, gave his opinion on the fact that. We didn't get any uh, peanut butter cookies sent to us. Which is pretty neat. Yeah. 
Ding, ding. Did you like it with frosting? Mm -hmm. Did you like it with frosting? A little bit. I think on that one, more than when I was just tasting it plain, I got some of that erythritol cooling sensation in my mouth. I don't think I really picked it up on the, uh, just off the spoon, but I definitely, definitely picked it up when I put it on the, uh, the brownie. And the brownie doesn't have erythritol in it. So. so if you are erythritol sensitive and get that cooling sensation in your mouth, you're probably gonna get it from this. All right, I have assembled a small graham cracker and frosting sandwich. See what you guys think of this. Like I said, this is this was one of my favorite after school treats I would make for myself back as a child. What'd you think? Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Was it a tasty treat? Cool. You? I get the erythritol now and I tasted no chocolate. Really? No. All I right. think the frosting's not very chocolatey in general, so now once you have the graham cracker with it too, it just tasted like a buttery graham cracker kind of. Not, I don't really taste chocolate. Hmm. Well, unfortunately we do not have any keto graham crackers, so I can't try it. But hey, if you out there are aware of a really good keto graham cracker recipe, I'd, I wouldn't be surprised if Carolyn Ketchum has one. I could probably just look in her cookbook. But if you're aware of one, you've tried it, you swear by it, let me know down in the comments below. So from what I had of this, uh, I was expecting to really, really dislike it. I had set the bar pretty low in my brain. I think if, if you like chocolate frosting and you don't want something that's super strongly chocolatey and super strongly sweet and you're not put off by any of the ingredients, I think probably good stuff right here. Yeah. I mean, especially mm -hmm. like if you can find it on clearance, I have no idea how much this costs normally, but I do not regret paying $2.10 for this. This mm -hmm. is actually for me probably a lifetime supply of frosting right here. And I liked it. And you liked it. Cool. Well. And and I also like chocolate chips. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of those too. But right now, is it, oh, it's starting to rain. Mm. You got your car windows up? I don't know right now. I can't I, check. I, I, I so. guess we better hurry up and end this video so Courtney can go see if her car windows are rolled up. So what do you say when we're all done? Thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks for watching.